morning to every last one and a warm welcome to the freshers. This is the first time in the history of the schools that which is conducted completely conducted on a digital platform in line with social distancing norms due to COVID-19 pandemic. Today we are going to start a new and fresh journey. So welcome all of you to our family which is having love, happiness, learning and success. So today, the, as the first day, we will go through a small summary of the parts of speech. Okay? So today, let us see. Parts of speech, there are Eight parts of speech, which are the noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. So now, now means it's a naming word. This you have already studied last class. Pronoun, the word we use instead of noun. See here the naming word means name of any person, place, animal or thing. That is noun. Pronoun means the word we use instead of noun. That means instead of a male person we use he. Instead of a female person we use she. And for the neutral gender we use it. Isn't it? Then verb means it shows an action and also a state of being and possession. Verb doing action that means jump run cry laugh all are actions then adverb means a word that tells us more about a word more about a word for example he runs fast the fast word qualifies for saying something more about the word cries bitterly means that bitterly word says something more about the cry. Isn't it? The next one, adjective. Adjective is a word that tells us more about a noun. More about a noun. And here, most of the adverbs ending in ly, not all, most of the adverbs ending in ly and it comes after the verb. Not all, again I am saying not all, most of the adverbs ending in ly and it comes after the verb. Here, adjective is a word that tells us more about a noun. Here, this word adjective comes in front of a noun. That means, example, flower. Flower is a noun and a beautiful flower. The word beautiful qualifies the noun. The saying something more about the noun. Isn't it? So the word beautiful is adjective. So the adjectives comes in front of noun. Then preposition. Preposition is the word that shows the relation of a noun. Preposition. The words in, on. Where is the cat? The cat is on the chair. On. The word on, in, under, above, below, these all words shows the relation of a noun or pronoun to the sentence. Next is conjunction. Conjunction is a word that connects words or group of words. Conjunction. So here the words, example words, and, but, so, these words are conjunctions. Then interjection. This may not be studied last year. Till here you have studied. Interjection, it shows the emotions or strong feelings. When you won the match, what do you say? Hooray, we won the match. The word hooray shows the strong feeling of happiness, isn't it? So, the words hooray, alas, it's a sad feeling. Oh no, it's also a strong feeling of pain. So all these words we say it's 
in the junction. So these are the eight parts of speech. It is very important when you write or say English language. Hope you understood this one. So explanation and more about this we will see in the next class.